Making music in an Arduino is kind of an art form in and of itself. So a while back, I built an Arduino distance basketball game which required these type of songs to be created and played on a piezo buzzer. But to create these songs, you had to type out the notes manually, which really took forever and was a bit frustrating. So I wanted to build a tool that allowed you to actually play the melody on your keyboard, which can then be converted to the correct format for the Arduino. I'm not really a coder, so I used ChatGPT4 to help code most of it, which was quite a process on its own, but also really fun. It was a good excuse to really dive into ChatGPT to see if I can build something from start to finish that just a few weeks ago would simply be impossible. So here's the app, and I hope you can get some use out of it for your own projects. Okay guys, so this is my Arduino Buzzer Song Creator app. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You can play notes on your keyboard, and if you record those notes, and hit stop, it records them in a format which you can then use in your Arduino app for the buzzer. So if I were to take what I just did and bring it into the Arduino code, which I will provide, um, if you go down to here and replace it and load it, there it is. I'm going to assume that most people know what an Arduino is and a passive buzzer, but if you don't, there's a ton of tutorials. And also I left the schematic here. If you wanted to hook it up yourself, this is how I did it. Okay, so now back in the app is a few other things. You can clear the array here. There's a metronome, so if you want to play. Okay, so here's our Top Gun song. If you play it back though. Not, not quite my tempo. So the problem with this one is some of the notes sound a little bit rushed, these 30 second notes. So I built in this little slider function, which sounds a lot more complicated than what it is. Hey, hey, slider. But basically what it does is it's kind of a quantizing slider where it limits certain notes. Right now, all of the notes are available, 16, 32, quarter notes, half notes, whole notes. But if you slide it to the middle, then you see these notes here, 30 seconds, those will be limited to 16, which for this type of song makes it sound a little bit better. So let's do a test. that. It's not perfect, but I did build in some editing tools to try to help even get it better. So let's say we like this, it's good enough, and now we want to copy the song into the Arduino. You hit the copy, open up your Arduino code, come over here, paste it in. It's pretty good. And so one of the features that I also added in the Arduino code is I wanted the way to be able to easily edit these. And sometimes when you have really long songs, it's very hard to keep track of the notes and the rests. And so what I did is in the console, I built a feature where using the prompt, you can hit one to pause, two to unpause, three to stop, and four to play a song from the top. And I have the lines written here, which match to the lines in here so that you know, you're able to see which notes you want to affect. So let's go through the song and I'll do one example of, let's say I want to change one of the notes to be longer or shorter. I'm going to hit four and enter to play the song and get ready with my one, which is pause. Okay, that felt a little bit too long, this dotted quarter note. So maybe it should just be a regular quarter note. Let's try that. Save it. Perfect. That sounds much better. Another feature I have is the pause is the one button and two is the unpause button. But the way the unpause button works is it actually goes back eight notes so you can hear it in context. And if you want to go back further, all you have to do is hit it multiple times. So if I hit two twos, two twos will be 16 and then so on and so forth. Right now, if I hit two two, Okay, so it's basically just a pretty simplified way to be able to edit your songs to get it to be exactly the way you want. And so I would copy this array. Let's come back over to our app. And over here, it says paste song array. I can actually paste that and then hit load song. And it'll load the song into the same area. And when I hit play, it'll play it back. Um, and let's say you really like that song and you want to save it to a library. If you click Browse Save Library, it opens up a Google Sheet. A and B columns are basically the, the song title and the array. And if you actually click right in here in three and then hit the down key, you can go through different songs. So I have the Zelda main theme song. I have Zelda Song of Storms. Beverly Hills Cop. Take On Me. 
and City of Stars from La La Land. None of these are perfect, they were just songs that I tried. But let's say you wanted to add this song, you can just write, let's say, Top Gun. And then over here, you replace this with the array, hit save, and we can keep on adding to it. So that's how the library works. So that is the Arduino Buzzer Creator app. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions. You can leave it in the comments. If you have any ideas for improvements or if you find any awful bugs, I'll try to fix them. And hopefully this tool can help you with your projects. Thanks.